headed to Playmakers. As we're trying to get to Playmakers, we are making our way through the casino. The casino was pretty big um, for this ship. Um, it had a lot of slot machines and it did connect to Playmakers, which was very awesome. So as you can see, we made it to Playmakers Sports and Bar. It, it's a beautiful little restaurant. I really like it. I love the atmosphere. This is basically where you can come and watch the games, the soccer games, the basketball games, the football games, if anyone at the time um, of your sailing. And it was really, really nice. Um, the seating was great. In this particular area, this was blocked off. So you can reserve this area. I believe it's free of charge um, for your party group. So this is the owner's box, and it, it is per request I'm not sure I believe it is free of charge but don't quote me on that so as soon as you come into Playmakers from coming from the promenade view to your left again you have a bunch of tables a bunch of TVs humongous TVs so you can view whatever sports you're watching just right they have a couple pool tables which was occupied at the time, so I really didn't get a chance to play. But uh, some people that were playing, you know, they was hyped up. Because, you know, when you're playing any game and you're competitive, that's what's going to happen. And, and that was pretty cool. Towards the back, as you're entering from the casino side, to your right, you will see the ski ball. Um, two of those uh, are just arcade games overall. They have the basketball arcade games. Uh, and this, you do have to pay a fee. I believe for each game, it was a dollar. So it wasn't, you know, that bad of a cost. They also have other arcade games like Pac-Man. Um, that game seemed to be interesting. I did not get a chance to play that either. Honestly, all we did, we came, sat, and ate, and then we looked around and stuff. Um, but that was about it. Um, far as the games, this is another game. I'm not sure what this is called. I didn't see anyone playing it, but I was looking for someone to show us how to play. But unfortunately, you know, people was tied up and busy. And as you can see, that was a YouTuber. Can't remember his name. Hopefully he come across my page. So that would be awesome. But he is also a YouTuber. I cannot remember his name to save my life. I'm sorry about that. So if you do view this YouTube page, hi. Told you you'd be on. So moving along, again, more arcade games that you could try to win prizes for. And those was a little bit more pricey, like $5 a game, I believe. And then over here, again, you have your bar, which was pretty cool. You could order your drinks at the bar and sit down, or you can have them be brought to your table once you uh, sat down to get, you know, reserved. So as I, we were waiting for the food, I just went around and tried to get some footage of Playmakers and um, just the atmosphere overall. It was, it was pr a pretty good atmosphere. At the time we were in there, um, one of our favorite teams was playing, which was Golden State. And yes, I, I'm a Steph Curry fan. Yes, I'm a uh, Clay Thompson Golden fan. State. Yes. So here we have the menus. Um, the menu have a good assortment of foods that you can choose from, like your wings, your burgers, um, onion rings, french fries, different kind of french fries. Um, and, the, and even nachos. So we decided to do the french fries with cheese and the nachos. The nachos was awesome. Let me tell you, I'm a nacho fan. So when I taste good nachos, I will vouch. Those nachos was so delicious. And so was the fries. 
the fries had some type of sauce I can't put my finger on it but it was different and they were so amazing originally when we wanted to come to Playmakers we was mainly coming for their wings because we saw so many reviews of it but we will get to that so here you have the onion ring tower just how it looks is how it tastes first thought when you see these onion rings in my head greasiness just greasy wasn't a fan of them it, it just wasn't good to me the wings like I mentioned to you the reason why we came to Playmakers was for the wings unfortunately the wings wasn't that good to me now I'm not sure exactly I was getting the vibe of probably like a wing stop type of wing um but it, it wasn't it was it was like kind of mm, a mushy I want to say not mushy but soft let's say soft not like the crunchy type and I was a little bit disappointed I was so I'm gonna say no to the wings and no to the onion rings now here you here you have the sundae that sundae was huge if you take the white part out, which we're doing, it's a big cup full of ice cream, whipped cream, some sprinkles, some chocolate, and that wasn't just regular vanilla ice cream. It was like um, ice cream mixed with vanilla ice cream mixed with caramel mixed with something else, but it was delicious. And the little helmet, you got to keep the take home as a souvenir. So that was pretty awesome. I really thought that was a cute little gesture. And I do have it sitting on our table, on um, our office table. But overall, I definitely would have the rate playmakers. I will give them a five. And the only reason is because my mindset was stuck on the wings itself. And when I got there, the wings wasn't that good. It, it just wasn't good enough for me. It wasn't, it was too soft. It wasn't that crispy texture. It's like the sauce was just not even baked in. Um, but on the flip side, it was cooked good enough. It was cooked well enough, but the, the, the skin of it, it wasn't that good to me. It wasn't pleasing. The onion rings, as I mentioned, it tastes how it looked. It, it just looked like it was dipped in a bunch of oil and it didn't really have a good taste and I wasn't pleased at all. So my husband and I probably ate one a piece. So that just went to waste. Now, needless to say, Playmaker's menu is very reasonably priced. Like the stack of onion ring was probably like six bucks or six ninety nine. The nachos, same price. The wings probably was 10 So, after all of that, including drinks, the nachos, the fully loaded nachos, the onion rings, the wings, and the sundae, all of that came up to about $40 or maybe $35. So, like I said, it's very reasonable. You, you it, And you walk away with some good food, and some is just not. And maybe it could have just been an off day. You just, it, it happens. So, but will I try Playmakers again? Maybe. So they can redeem yourself? Maybe. But I, I will hope that, you know, you guys get out there and try it. It don't hurt to try. It, like I said, it's reasonable, especially if you get the dining package. So look into that through Royal Caribbean. Um, so I really hope that this information helped. And again, please comment, please like, and please subscribe because your girl is waiting for you. So I hope this information helped. Thank you so much for tuning in to Everything Nina. See you later. Bye.